This is Ray's Super Magnet Generator number two. If you've watched number one, I'm sure you have lots of questions. This is how it's built. I have the pivot bar coming down a 4 ohm pancake coil in between two big neo magnets. They're three by two inches, one on each side. And they're both facing the same polarity or um, the same field. And I have north and north facing inward. This goes that any coil inside a very high field magnet will react very easily. So I use just a very little bit of current and it reacts that way. The reason I'm doing that is it works a bumper switch and you can see how that's working there. Every time it activates the coil it reacts within that field and breaks the current on and off. So the high magnet fields have nothing to do with generating any current. It just makes the switch bump on and off very easily. This is all uh, connected. Then you have your load and then your power supply. Here's the circuitry. It's, uh, it's all put in with a series. See everything's in series. So anything affecting anything in the current is doing the same within all the other parts of the uh, current too. Thanks to some of the comments I had on uh, number one that one of the flaws was the power supply itself. You can see that it's, it has uh, around 17 volts. I have 17.9, 18 volts. But it's not showing any current being drawn. And that's where the fallacy, I believe, of this uh, current was not being really uh, read with the power supply. As you can see on the scope, we have power spikes. Spikes are one of the hardest things to really work with. And because it's such a fast uh, spike, the amperage part of the power supply is not recording that. So this is, I looked it up more online, and I believe that's probably, this is not over unity. Unless we could find a way or some kind of circuitry I could work on. So at this point, uh, thanks for the uh, comments, and I, I read all of them. I had some really good ones, which I used for further testing on this also, so thanks for that. So uh, at this point, it's a really a fun project to do, and and work with so if you ever wanted to fiddle around with something like that so there we are the power supply was not really reading the sharp power spikes being generated in the circuitry so that was not added into the uh, formulas okay thank you very much appreciate it have a happy day of inventing make every day count